my soccer universe. This is the last time for the rest of the season. Oh, I don't know how scheduling works out, but uh, at least where we only talk about happenings in Germany because after uh, this little international break, the Austrian uh, league or the Austrian, Austrian football breaks its winter break and we'll start uh, back with a cup round where of course the big one is on the 6th, Lask, again, Lask playing at Salzburg, a game that can only go one way and it's not the one that I would uh, like to have. So yeah, uh, Aust uh, Ried against Klagenfurt. But that also reminds us that we had a German Cup round. We have to get to through quite a few things. A German Cup round that saw quite a few upsets where um, we have remarkably many second tier teams still in the competition. Uh, it started out with um, Hamburg, high as far, kicking out Köln on penalties. Köln actually equalized in the last minute of stoppage time with a penalty. It went to a penalty sh 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 where they missed the first one. Hamburg missed their, sex, their second one. And then it seemed like it will go on uh, beyond the uh, fifth one, Köln going second. Uh, but Kainz slipped on his penalty kick uh, hit it with his right foot onto his left and into goal and the, the referee immediately saw it and so the goal didn't count and Köln are uh, eliminated. Karlsruhe beat uh, 1860 so both of my favorite teams still in the comp 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 competition are out. Uh, Bochum get revenge over Mainz 3-1 and then the big shocker St. Pauli knocking out Dortmund 2-2-1 at home. Uh, St. Pauli a good position in, in the table. Not favorites to be promoted, but uh, I think they're at the moment first and it might uh, the momentum might carry them on. So, but that's a huge one because uh, Dortmund really seemed well last weekend, uh, disposing of Freiburg and then they lose to St. Pauli. They found themselves 2 0 down to have them Holland only with a penalty pulling one back. Uh, not a good showing at all. Um, and also another not good, good showing was what Gladbach was showing at Hanover. Uh, Hanover just needed to turn it on a little bit. Gladbach completely out of sorts in many ways. Uh, Bayer Kerke, then again Bayer making it 3 0. Uh, it was kind of one game whenever Gladbach tried to do something offensively. Uh, Hanover said, okay. We're gonna score now. Leipzig no problem over Hansa Rostock. Uh, and then the Berlin Derby, a 3-2 winner for Union. Uh, it looked, uh, uh, the final score looks a whole lot more um, close than the game actually was Vogelsammer uh, and an on goal by Stark. Headed already 2-0 for Union uh, and on goal by Kedira pulled one back and then Knoch immediately after that made it 3-1 and then only laid on uh, could uh, Serda pull one back for Hertha. So this was a pretty uh, clear one and uh, also very clear and very surprising Freiburg just being beaten down by Dortmund going uh, to um, local rivals. I mean it's all within the Baden-Württemberg region and taking taking Hoffenheim completely apart. A Hoffenheim team that had been actually doing quite well so far, but a very impressive 4-1 win. And if we look at the teams that are remaining, one would think uh, Freiburg and Leipzig are probably the best teams still left in the competition. Leipzig probably will look at it and say, yeah, we better win this one. But I would say Freiburg uh, is definitely the best team left in that competition. But that didn't mean anything in the German Cup. The Bundesliga also started with an upset uh, where Bielefeld went to Fra uh, Eintracht Frankfurt and beat them 2-0 to Austrian scoring with Wimmer and Schöpf. Uh, gotta say, uh, Frankfurt was rather disappointing, couldn't get much going uh, and Bielefeld fully deservedly, deservedly winning that game one has to say. Um, then Gladbach tried to get back, I mean Adi Hütter is under huge pressure, especially from the fan base. Um, but, um, you know, they're still holding on him I and they just paid seven and a half million to have him as a coach. And Gladbach actually uh, showed some improvement, was largely the better team. However, apparently by Max Kruse was unlucky, um, gives them an uh, unlucky handball, gives them the 1-0 win. And then uh, Kone gets the equalizer and you really thought that Gladbach will at least get a point, if not more out of it. They were the better team. But then Kruse uh, laid on, gets them the winner, and the trouble at Gladbach ensues. I mean, I'm not, sh I wouldn't say that they are in danger of being relegated, but it's it's tough for them. It's tough for them. Uh, Leverkusen, no trouble, five-one over Augsburg. Whenever you thought it might get tight, 
uh, when Maya scored in the 60 second, Diaby uh, to make it 2 1. Tiabi uh, with a brace, and you know, he had already won the one in the first half, put the game out of sight. Uh, so, absolute destruction uh, there. And Leverkusen are now the clear third force in Germany at the moment. Uh, Freiburg, no trouble with Stuttgart at all. 2 uh, 0. And a very good week for Freiburg, hence uh, I, I am wearing uh, them today. And then another shocker. Greuther Fürth beating Mainz 2-1 and it was not even that close. I mean, Greuther Fürth, uh, the Dujak uh, goal was really well played and a bell on goal and only laid on could Onisivo in stoppage and pull one back. But Greuther Fürth deserved that win. And the question, of course, I ask now, can Greuther Fürth pull, pull it back? I still think the odds on to go, go, go down, but it will not be as miserable of a campaign as it was, uh, it looked like for a while. Huge offer for Dortmund coming back from that loss to St. Pauli and beating Hoffenheim, and Hoffenheim having a pretty uh, horrible week. Uh, it started early with Haaland uh, after Malen assist a really nice, nice way, giving, giving, giving it a 1 0 lead. However, then also loads of luck for Dor 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 Dortmund. Kramaric um, very late on gets the equals, but it should have come earlier, and Hoffenheim was m uh, largely the better team. Second half, bit more even. Reus again, Malen assist, make it 2 1, um, then an on goal by Rahm in the 66, 3 1. Again assisted by Marlen, who had uh, three assists, although no on goal. It was a ra ra rather lucky one. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay, on goals are always unlucky, I understand. But you would really thought that uh, Dortmund had, had in the back, though, without really totally deserted, deserving it. And then Rutter got some back, it, it gets tight. Dortmund hang on, and that's a huge win for them because Hoffenheim last weekend declared they are the first chasers of Dortmund, and now. Not so much anymore, and Dortmund can stay in contention, close the gap to three points with a game in hand. Uh, we know how that will go. You see already the, the result of Bayern. They are Bochum and current play out an entertaining 2 2 draw. Leipzig late goals 2 0 over Wolfsburg. And then Bayern Munich just looks at Hertha. Uh, everyone kind of said, yeah, maybe this is a game where they could potentially treat you, but because they're too assured of themselves, no way. Bayern, it should have been five because then a brilliant goal by Sane. Because of a hand, hand, hand pebble in the build-up was not given, but uh, easy for one win, one has to say, for them. And yeah, it is uh, still Bayern's title to lose. They are far in the head. But let's look quickly also at the relegation uh, zone. Breuterfurt, yes, you got your second win, eh, but you're still uh, not going far. And your odds on to get re 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 relegated Wolfsburg now dangerously down. Hertha, I think that Gladbach will get the turn to, to turn around. Bochum, um, I also think, is safe. Uh, so we're looking at Bielefeld, Augsburg, Stuttgart. Doesn't look good for Stuttgart at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, I think this will be quite a relegation battle and I have a hard time picking. For some reason, I actually would like if Bielefeld could stay in for another season. <laughs> Maybe because I'm looking at a jersey of theirs uh, to get. Uh, but you know, uh, any team down there, it will be hard, uh, to be honest, because all of them have some uh, right to be in the Bundesliga. If I had the personal big pick, and this is nothing against the team itself, because uh, you know Bavaria is close to Austria, but Augsburg... To me, it's a team that has been doing remarkably well, but, uh, you know, being so close in the shadow of Bayern, I always wonder, is it really worth it? But, you know, uh, I don't I don't wish them to go down either. So that was it from me. Uh, you'll see a little bit more in the stats cast for, uh, tomorrow. But that was what I can say to what happened in the German Bundesliga. As I said, Austria will be back after this international break. If you want to drop a line, please do so below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.